Rich Catino with Mets Blog Angel. Obviously, this team has had an incredible turnaround. Um, five and thirteen out of the gate, and really been playing good ball for the last forty-five games. What do you think uh, has been the reason why? Yeah, we've been playing right baseball. You know, everything. You know, been playing, uh, executing. You know, whenever we need it, the pitching has been outstanding. You know, so I think that's. Uh, that's been key for us. The pitching, they've been keeping us in the ball game. We've, we've been putting points in the board, so and early enough for for us to uh, to be comfortable and, and and have the pitchers, you know, be comfortable lead. And you, since you've come back from the injury, been playing incredible ball offensively, maybe hitting fifth, hitting sixth, hitting fourth a little bit. Um, doesn't bother you how where you're hitting in the lineup. It seems it seems that that you're really oblivious to that. No, I mean. Uh, that's what I've been doing my whole career, you know, uh, you know, moving around the lineup, you know, leading off second the next day, next day six. I mean, as long as you bring the right approach to the plate, you know, you'll you be fine, you know. Uh, uh, because you're hitting four, that doesn't mean they're going to pitch it different, but you have to bring the same approach and just wait for the, you know, for the pitcher to give you the pitch you're looking for. That's that's all. You don't have to put pressure on yourself that you have to hit a homer when you hit in fourth because, you know, Two run homer is the same. It's you know it's it's just like a two run double, two run triple. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, and that's what you have to focus on. Just uh, get the job done whenever it's needed, and and hopefully you know it's the right one for for us to win the ball game. This morning I wake up and I look at the game by game summary of the season, and I look at the pitches you guys have beaten. It, it's a who's who of good pitchers in the National League. Two Jurgens mm -hmm. wins, two wins over Hudson. There's a win in which Cliff Lee pitched. There, there's a whole litany of pitchers you've beaten. It seems when the best pitchers are out there, you guys step up your game. I mean, we beat Gallardo to him in, mm -hmm. in Milwaukee. I mean, I think uh, he's he's been outstanding. He's one of the best pitchers in the game. But you know, we we finally you know got to to beat Jurgens. You know, he's been pitching you know pretty good against us and. Uh, we finally did the adjustment and, and, and got them at their house, which is tough to do. You know, they, they really play hard there, you know, in Atlanta. But, you know, the way we're playing baseball right now, it doesn't matter. You know, I think uh, this team is, you know, is getting really close to where we want to be and hopefully, you know, keep, keep getting better for us to be in the fight. And one of the things that's kind of really impressed me about this team is not only have you come back from that 5-13 and 13 record, but there's a lot of stuff that's been going on outside of the team. And it seems like it doesn't enter this room. It seems that you guys have tunnel vision. Where is that? Is that, is that some Terry's leadership? Is that some of his leadership at work? Of course. And it's, it's part of, of you being a professional. You know, uh, I think uh, when you're a professional, you have to leave the problems outside. You cannot let any negativity come through those doors and that's that's something that we've been doing great and, uh, and we've been uh, you know we've been playing great and uh, we're not letting anything uh, in our heads so uh, we just uh, have to focus on our job and get the job done and uh, and whenever we lose a ball game just uh, just forget about it and, and keep playing strong that's what we've been doing. No conversation with any Met players complete without talking about what Jose Reyes is doing I mean I, I, it's it's beyond good it's beyond great it's 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 I don't even know if there's a word for it. I, I, I'm searching for a word for it, and I don't know if I can find it. I mean, you're playing behind you're playing behind him now for a few weeks when you've come back. I mean, what do you see from him? I mean, it's 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 off the charts. I see the Jose Reyes I know. You know when it, when he's healthy, and that's that's what he, you know he's trying to prove. He's, he's trying to prove that he's healthy enough to to keep uh, you know contributing to this team to uh, to keep getting better as a player because he's young. You know he's only 28 years old, so. Um, that's that's the Jose Reyes we all know, and uh, and you know he's very happy with with the job he's doing. Another guy that's kind of really carried the team is your buddy Carlos Beltran. I mean, I mean I've known him since the day he came here. Came here, exceedingly works hard every day at what he does and what he's doing in terms of not only games played, leading the league in doubles. I mean, I mean it's really a testament to how hard he worked. Same thing, you know, it's it's, it's, it's showing you what perseverance mean you know he he's been down a couple of times with knee injuries and uh, that doesn't stop him you know I, I tell you because i know him personally and i know the kind of professional player he is and how hard he works and uh, he's the type of player that he never stop you know he's, he's gonna work to 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 get better to uh to prove people wrong and uh, and to help this this club you know he's, it's all about uh producing and he you know, he, he really believes that this team is, is going to be in the playoffs and uh, like we all, we believe in him. I always said that we all know what he can do when he's healthy. He's healthy and he's showing what he can do. You and I talked a lot in spring training and, and you're a e real easy guy to talk to and get along with. But one of the things you said to me that really resonated as I'm watching this team is you said our starting rotation is going to be better than people think it is. Now, you got to had a major injury in there too, a guy you were, were relying on. Dylan comes up. But 
as a ball player, it's something you kind of saw in them, and you said it to me seven or eight times during spring training, how good this rotation was going to be. Is it something you saw in them? I think, uh, you know, with the job Dickie did last year, and, uh, you know, he he was hungry enough to come back. You know, we have Jonathan Nees, uh, he's hungry to be a, a great pitcher in the major leagues, and, and that was the word. You know, Chris Capuano is hungry to be back. Chris Young was hungry to be back. And, you know, Pelfrey is still trying to, you know, keep improving himself. So, you know, the hunger I saw on the on the starting rotation, I think was, you know, the perfect, you know, thing that we needed for us to, to be solid in the rotation. One final one. We talk to Mets fans a lot on Mets blog. We like the give and take with them in the dialogue. And early in the year, they were kind of like reading what was in a lot of the papers and negativity. I've sensed in the last three or four weeks kind of a change, kind of that the Met fan is like all in now. I mean, do you do you sense that from them, you know, playing here at City Field? Of course. I mean, they, they, they have to identify with, with ourselves now because we're playing better. We're playing better than, 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 than they expected. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's something that, that we're proving them that we, you know, that we're backing up what we said in spring training, and uh, we, we we keep believing that that we have a good team. We we keep believing that we're gonna make it to the playoffs, and we still believe we're gonna make it. So, um, but that's all it that matters. And you know, we thank the fans for for we appreciate the fans for for supporting us. You know, in the good and bads, and and that's what it's all about. You know, this is a roller coaster. It's 162 games. We we're not gonna win them all, but it's just a matter of being consistent enough for us to, to, to keep ourselves in a fight. And that's what we're trying to do right now. You know, we, we got to 500. Now we, we, are, we are game under, but we have to keep fighting to, to, to maintain ourselves over 500 and, and hopefully, you know, win the division, you know, uh, like that. Andrew, you're one of the real good guys, not only in the sport, but the good guys I know personally. Always great to talk to you. We'll talk to you soon. And thanks for joining us on Mets Blog. Thanks, Ray. Thank you very much.